between T.J. Dillashaw and Thomas Almeida. And now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. Dillashaw is five years the elder. Almeida is one inch taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Our round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record on 22 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Thomas Cominhas Almeida! And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record on 16 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, T.J. Dillashaw! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Are uh, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. The UFC Bantamweight title is on the line right here, right now. him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by a defensive Almeida. Good shot. This opens with the inside leg kick. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Dillashaw gets hit with a kick. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. Lands a big left counter. Vicious oh, left lands hand. A big left hand. Body kick, look at that. Look at that, though. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Hit him hard with that hook. And now he lands a combination. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Nice punch by Almeida. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, both men exchange. He's checking every single one of those. Great job landing a series of punches. That one hurt. Oh, he moved right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here moving forward. Double jab there by Almeida. Oh, he caught that offense, Joe. Oh, nice right hand. Staying busy now. A lot of these punches are landing. Got to play better defense than that. Blocks the shot. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Almeida's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Hit him with some punches. Oh, snaps off the jab effectively yet again. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Effective punch there by Dillashaw. Oh! Oh! He's got him right here. He lands a huge elbow to the head. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. He landed a huge 
Vicious uppercut. Sideways, vicious uppercut. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Watch the shot here, Joe. We gotta fight, folks. Big straight punch. Powerful left hand. Big punches. And now starting to snap off that jab. Final second to round one. Oh, double jab. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over. The bleeding on the nose is not. The cut there is only getting worse. The blood is starting to come down into the mouth, and that's when it can impact the breathing pattern, Joe. So significant damage done in that round. The cut on that nose most definitely getting worse at this point of the fight. And let's take a look at that from a different angle. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen. You can do this now. He is ready to... Ariane Celeste on hand. Okay, now be ready. You ready? Here we are, early round two. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna wanna move and avoid taking damage early. TJ Dillashaw has spectacular footwork and movement, beautiful striking from both the southpaw and orthodox stance, and he has an excellent wrestling base as well. Doing a nice job working that inside leg kick. Tags him. He's trying to hammer that lead leg. Visibly limping here. Effective strike there by a defensive Almeida. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Leg kick now. He's starting to pile those up. Look at the stats. Oh, working him over against the cage. He is going after it here. Big Fishy body shot. shot. To body. Very good job of timing these shots here. Now he's got over under, Joe. And he throws him to the ground. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message. Whoa! to get those hands up, Joe. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Dillashaw. Lands the ground and pound strike. Moved in a half guard. All right, hammer fist here by Dillashaw. Under a minute now to go round two. Elbow to the head there by Almeida. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Good shot to the body. Well, he may need to drop the elbows here defensively, Joe. How much more body damage can he take? Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, and he caught the kick. Snapped off the jab nicely there. Dillashaw gets caught with that punch. He's got oh! Oh! Two lines in the books. Oh, saved by the bell there. The round is over. He got knocked down just before you heard the horn. And of course, he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. Let's take a look at that again. Isso. 
ready. Yeah. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Nice inside leg. Trying to double up on that jab. Nice slip and counter there by Dillashaw. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. Oh, leg kick is good. He got tagged there. Huge block there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not on my nose. He's clearly hurt. Now a right hand. Oh! And now a hip kick to boot. and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power. Oh, he's locked. This could be it right here. Big shots! Switching stances here. Hard jab! Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency. That oh! He's oh! Oh! A huge kick for the knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, that one is gonna be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was gonna spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. Watch this again here. Crank right on the jaw. So there he is, the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion. And what better way to get the job done tonight? All right, let's get it inside Ladies the octagon to Bruce Buffer again, for the official decision. Stop in this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, T.K. Dillashaw. Well, that's one way to defend the belt, and still the UFC's undisputed bantamweight champion. He gets it done tonight by way of the knockout and it is going to take a Herculean effort to dethrone this fighter at this point in time. The celebration is on in the corner, and rightfully so, on the heels of a performance like that. What a moment for the Bantamweight champ tonight. Between homies, better yet brothers that used to spend the night with each other. They moms was best 